I'm six one, so this isn't exactly comfortable to do. But... All right, pretty dang cool, folks. You are watching Riverbend Longbows Outdoors. Howdy, folks. Ray here. We're back in the truck. Today we're going to be putting up some canopy LED lights on the inside of the topper. So uh, stick around. We'll figure this out together. They're just a real easy three AAA battery, like 40 feet of this stuff. So I don't know how much of that will do, but it comes with uh, clips to attach to like curtains or fabric or whatever, but that's not going to work in here too good. So what I come up with is I have some leftover hook and loop material with adhesive on the back, the hook part, and I'm going to cut quarter inch strips and fold it around so it adhesives to itself ever so often. And then we're just going to stick it in here and let's see what it looks like. So stick around. So I'm not promoting these at all because I haven't even used them yet. But they say they're weather resistant and I just picked these up at the Walmart in the camping section. And uh, so you can check them out yourself. Canopy Brights. I wanted to find some rechargeable like LEDs but I couldn't. And I want to get some light in there right away so we'll deal with this for now. But yeah it comes with this and it also comes with a rubber strap you could attach on the back you know, to hold it on to something, but I think I'm going to use Velcro and just stick it right to the carpet that's on the inside of the topper. So first I'm going to take my hook material, and you can buy these, you know, buy hook and loop in all different sizes in many different stores. And so I'm just going to eyeball like quarter inch strips, and uh, maybe I'll go like a three eighths or half inch, and just cut a bunch of those and get them ready. So I'm just kind of eyeballing here. Yeah, something like that. And then when I peel that adhesive off, I can uh, put it around the cord, stick it to each other, and then that will stick just like a hanging tab right to the carpet on the inside of the topper. So get those done and we'll get after it. I'm gonna cut a bunch of them, so I won't film it all. Though. I don't have a real specific number of how many of these I'm going to cut. I'm just going to cut as many as I can out of this one scrap piece I had. I've got more, but I would suggest maybe getting at least a three foot roll, which they come in different variable lengths at the store. So, all right, got a good pile to start with. Comes with 48 clips, if that tells you anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a few more. I've got about 20 there, but I'm guessing I'll need more we can keep it nice and tight that was not straight so that's it all right i'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece to stick on the back of this the uh, battery case and uh, figure out where i want that first and then string the lights from there sounds like a plan man Better double check to make sure these work before I even get them strung up, eh? And it says this is weather resistant, so that's good. There we go. All right. One setting, that's it. That's all I need. So, of course, my wife and I plan on using this for camping. I always sleep on this side of the bed in the house, so I'm going to stick to this side. So I think I'm going to mount this right up here in the inside corner and then I can start running these up along all the way around and if I have enough left over just go all the way back around the bottom and then see where we end up. Oh this is going to take a long time. I have like zero fingernails to get these. <laughs> Bear with me. All right, let's start with this one. I'm just going to take, hopefully, hopefully you can see this, kind of half. And if I fold those together, then I get a tab. Oh yeah, this is going to work perfect. And then, it sticks right there. I can start just working my way all the way around. So, I'm going to get on that. Half 
fit. Pull it a little tight and stick it. Awesome. All right. Be handy if I had somebody to help me, but my wife decided to take a nap, so I'm on my own. <laughs> nice to have somebody to peel these for me as I go. Oh, this is gonna work perfect, folks. How cool is that? Now they'll just go around. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm 6'1", so this isn't exactly comfortable to do, but I'll make it. I'll make it. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. I'll have to work on finding one that's a rechargeable too, because I don't really like the battery idea, but is what it is right now. That's going to be cool. Oh man. Sure glad I did some yoga this morning. No, not really. I don't do yoga. I probably should. <coughs> Apparently, I need to. Oh. Yeah. I gotta take my sandals off. Oh, that buckle was digging into the side of my foot. I gotta use my knife. Catch the edge there just a little bit. Safety first. Oh, yeah, that works better. Put that in the same spot. Alright. Rock and roll. And of course my neighbor decides to start mowing when it's raining. Well, I'm trying to do a video. So hopefully you can't hear it. Actually kind of comfortable here now. <laughs> can't see what I'm doing. Getting new glasses though this week. Awesome. My new glasses just came in. We'll go do that here in a bit. That sure help right about now though. <laughs> Gotta get bifocals now. Getting old folks. They're gonna slow me down though. Screw that. Alright. Alright, so now I'm going to start working my way down. I'm just going to go along the inside down through here. I think that would be cool, won't you? I think so. Well, we're doing it anyway. Whew, might have to cut some more of these Velcro strips. It looks well. No, I got some stuck to my back. <laughs> ah, wish you were here. <laughs> it's a good time. Oh, I'm getting leg cramp though. Might take a break. Oh yes, this is working out so good. Love it. That right in there. One thing good too is that adhesive, you know, keeps the ribbon from moving back and forth to it kind of just all locks it in place so you kind of pinch it into a corner figure out where it's going to lay and then just stick it right in there awesome now since we're working on the bottom i can probably go every other one and not use so many of these because i'm not dealing with gravity now be conservative with that if I need to I can always slip one in but I think that'll work yeah it's gonna work so now I can go instead of between each one just go every between every other one you know what I mean 
one, two, skip a few. Just pull it tight. Stick it in there. So yeah, now I just got one every other. It's laying in there nice and flat. And because this is direct current, not alternating current, if you don't need the whole strand of these, you can actually just clip these off and not break your break the uh, grid. You can just, you know, you don't have to use the whole 40 feet, if you know what I mean. There we go. Just tuck these in there. All right, so we about made it all the way around. And looking at this, I got enough to go up and around the uh, hatch lid. Awesome. All right, we're just getting close to the end here, wrapping things up. Just want to say thanks to everybody who's been watching and supporting. And uh, if you missed my cabinet build video, wait till the end and it'll be in the end cards and you can just click on that and go check it out. All right, there we go. Functional. Awesome. Wait till the end, he'll pop up, hit that, be good to go. All right, so right here is about the end. We'll just take our clippers. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's AAA batteries. <laughs> Double A batteries. And we can hook that there and be done. Yeah, don't do that with a uh, real current though. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna cover the cut in inside my loop. And that'll protect it from getting corrosion or shorting out. Here's my plan. Pull that tight. We are done. Off. And we're left with about 21 inches. I'm guessing. We'll measure it to see how close I am. But anyway. Awesome. Check it out. Uh, that'll be a lot less obtrusive than one big light. This light that was in here. It's just not practical so we'll see what it looks like at night oh I was off by two inches 23 inches left all right pretty dang cool folks I'm just checking for leaks looks like I got a leak over here somewhere I can't figure out where it's coming in at it's under here so I gotta Lift the topper off at some point, put new sealer on, but there you go, folks. About 15 bucks. That's all that cost. And then plus whatever Velcro. Some of you might even have it laying around. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. And I got my glasses. Not getting along with them too well yet. <laughs> Thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't. Like and share this, and we'll see you next time. Nope. Can't do it. I ain't doing bifocals. That's a bunch of shit right there. <laughs>